to be honest with you, AliXP was really good. From the Commercy quest line, that shit was popping. Like, I've never done a quest on that gave me so much EXP before. I'm gonna go back and get to 150 from there. I feel like that should be something that, you know, we should consider doing with the low amount of funds, low amount of damage that we have. And it's also hot week day two. So we can go ahead and take this and see what we will get from today's box. Uh, I forgot what yesterday's was. I probably... No, it was the Soul Enchanter, right? Yeah, so we get 40 of these coins. And I think I have 100 now. So I can buy whatever I want from the coin shop whenever I want to. So, you know, that's cool. Anyways, if you guys want to know how to get back to Commercy, you press Quick Move in Hennesis, click on the Party Play area, and go down Commercy Republic 140, 145. And then, boom, you're there. That's how that works out. Alright, so I heard the little level up animation. I just did the quest a little bit. These Delfino quests gave horrible EXP, by the way. It was like less than a million. But uh, I did the quest where I fought Riverson, which was probably, you know, the leader, the boss of the Delfinos. And I heard the level up animation, assuming that was me. So hopefully I am level 150 after this cutscene. Uh, and I am. They, see, ooh, we got, whoa, we got 15 million from all that. Okay, <laughs> see, so this, this theme does it, it's still pretty good. Uh, now we just gotta find a way to get out of here. Maybe talk to him. Kinda just leave. Yeah, you can go back, right? Just take, you know, a couple, a little bit of some extra EXP before going back as well, so that's pretty good. So we're level 150. Oh, but, mm, 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 I forgot. Uh, what is up, guys? This is Kobe here, and today I'm going to be going over all the dailies that you should be doing. At this level right now so you're 150 you've done Golix prequest you've done Comerci prequest uh, so there is you know this little list of dailies that you be gotta do before I get into that make sure you go ahead and clear your inventories as well if you have a whole bunch of items in here make sure you sell those I'll try my best to be able to equip this Fafnir here as soon as possible because I want to be able to equip it before I go into the dailies that I start doing um, also you know that um, on a metal that I put into the cash shop or not the cash shop, but the auction house. It's sold. So I have 87 mil waiting for me in the auction house. Minus 5% of it because, you know, tax is a piece of shit. Um, and I have to use all those trades, so that's going to take a while. But, you know, that's just something I ought to bring up. Because, you know, it's nice to actually have a payment of at least 80 mil waiting for me in the auction house right now. Which is why you should be doing dojo once a week. Just go to go in, kill Mano, leave come back and get your honor medal. I'm not even going to make an entire episode out of it. I just ex I just showed you how to do it in episode 3 and episode 7. So, it's kind of like that. So, now before I get into anything else, let me go ahead and sell, uh, I mean, use all of these trade boost potions. Alright, whatever. I'll use the rest later. Um, now I'm about to do something that I suggest you guys don't do and instead of farming them for mobs, but I'm feeling really desperate right now. So, I kind of want to just go ahead and do it. Uh, like I said, don't call me what I'm doing. Because uh, you know how I said that I was looking for an Utgard weapon for mobs. And I didn't get any. Well, I'm going to be using some of this money to buy a level 140 weapon. Which probably cost around 10 mil last time I checked. You don't want to spend 10 mil on a 140 weapon. I'm just getting pretty desperate for some, you know, damage here and there. Um, so let me see. Yeah, yeah. So what, let's put the level range to 140 to 140. Because that's the level of the weapon we need. And there's only 14.5 and 12 mil. Here I am spending 12 mil on an Utgard energy chain. Something that you should never do in your entire life. Please don't be like me. Just farm the item. Uh, I just found this opportunity to be able to, you know, actually get it. Plus, I'm pretty sure there aren't that many Utgard weapons in the auction house anyway. Uh, so what I plan to do here is transfer this 11 star to an Utgard. And then... Hopefully, you know, it'll, I mean, of course, the transfer game is going to work. Uh, but I want to work is the star forcing from 10 to 11 stars. So we don't have to go through that risk. And it's at 7 mil per attempt. That's insane. So hopefully for the third time in a row, it will work first try. Unfortunately, it didn't. So we are going to have to sit here and suffer 7 mil every time, every attempt we have. Oh my god. It's like... I regret my decision already. We've lost 26 mil doing this. Bro. See, third... 33 mil doing this, bro. Are we about to go down a 40 mil lost? Ah, uh, wow. Fourth try. That's not good. See, we're at 54 mil. We're, <laughs> we're already about losing our funds. But uh, hey, man, here's the Fafnir weapon. We'll just go ahead and use 100 attack power luck. So this is 147 attack, and then this is 192 attack. 
Back, that's that's a, that's a lot of attack. And now I want to be able to start this fast new weapon to 11 stars. I'm not going to be transferring it to an app slabs or a sweet water or anything because I'm going to be using fast new weapon for a while. Um, we'll just see how much it costs. 8.6 mil. Easy, easy money. Okay. 11 stars first try. It's as easy and as simple as that. See? See? Now we get to equip our very first Fafnir weapon. Um, and this gives also 30 boss damage on it as well. So we got an additional 30% boss. So that's nice to have. And plus, since we are 150, maybe I should put some points in hyper stat, like 3% damage. Um, maybe next I can do... I'll just do boss damage. Boss damage is pretty clean. Just do like three boss damage. That's all I'll do right now. So five and three at 150. And then for hyper skills, I didn't really put the last one in, you know, Mecha Purge Reinforce, which is going to be really good. And then active will be, you know, you get active hyper skills at 150, 170, and 200. So this one is Amaranth Generator. So basically for 10 seconds, you can use buffs without wasting any of uh char any charges on your gauge right here guys or whatever the hell how it is pronounced i don't really fucking care um i'll go ahead and put it on like eight or something um so i can go ahead and do that and then we can see what my range is going to be so 81k range oh my god we are making improvements wait this is one more skill third job i can use damage it's a bit too late hyper defenses no i'll just go ahead and do that uh we haven't actually used hyper defenses at all jeez did your avoidability was 100 maybe we should have this hot keyed on like a macro or something um skill macros are something that you know you should really consider having so we'll do circuit surge uh we'll do I'll just put in the, um, the whatchamacallits in here, so, yeah, we'll just save that, that's, that's good, save, and then put it on, like, um, put it, put it on page up, so you'll we'll only just use the first one and then move, that's really all that's necessarily important, um, so that's nice. It's nice to know that we have like 80k range already. So, and with you know putting in points in like the hyper stats and getting some boss damage as well, seems like we've made some really really huge gains. Um, so may maybe putting in that 50-ish mil star forcing my weapon was worth it, but uh, who knows? Um, so basically, what we are going to do now, like I said earlier, will be dailies. It will be daily bosses, daily bosses, daily events, so on and so forth. First things you want to take care of are the events. Current events going on right now are Nian's Revenge and Wanjoy. This will be the last video I cover on Nian's Revenge because I feel like by the time this is uploaded, it will be almost over. So, I did mention to do it before a while back, so I hope you guys have been doing it. Um, but you could do Nian's Revenge four times a day. Make sure you have used inventory slots and etc. inventory slots for the items and whatnot. Uh, so you can get you, you know, your daily Hong Bao boxes here. Um, so here we go, New Year's Reward. No, not, not New Year's Award. It's Daily Hong Bao. So you get one of these a day. And I'm, I don't know if 3x EXP and 3x shock will stack, but it'd be really nice if they did. Uh, but anyway, we go to Nian's Avenge, and then we do this four times a day. So I'm going to go ahead and do my four runs, and I'm going to tell you what I get real quick. On second hand, let me switch over to Sniper. Let's see my damages on these mobs real quick. So that, page up. All right, so once again, 81k range. So now we get to see the true damage. All right, Captain uh, Tra Tragos. Hold on. All right. Oh my god. 500k on mobs? Yo. Okay. And we got 69 boss damage too. Yo. Mm -mm. I can't wait to see how much I hit on, like, Horns Hill. Oh, we'll see. Just finished my four runs. Got Vengeful Knee in the last one. But unfortunately, I didn't get the damage skin that I wanted. Uh, but I got four of these daily hung bow boxes and this one lasts for a month I thought they usually last for a week at most, but hey If they last for a month, then that's cool um, So basically I'll just end up using two of these today. I'll use one for exp and then one for drop So I'll be able to have both exp and drop when I go fight bosses such as Zakum and Horntail although I don't know if I don't think Easy Horn's Tail gives good EXP, but uh, that's not really, you know, 
what I'm trying to go there for. I want to see if I can get, like, you know, at least a ring so I can use the ring. Uh, but next one is Monster Park. So we just do two of our usual runs from Monster Park. And at level 150, we can go ahead and do the Gold Beach Monster Park. Not Gold Beach, Golden Temple Monster Park. Which is the last option. So let me go ahead and go in here real quick. Yep, level 150 to 159. We'll just see how much damage we do in here. And if it's, uh, well, we, we could two shot them, so that's not too bad. Hitting 400k with this laser, dude. Oh my god, yo. The gains that I made in this episode alone is already absolutely ridiculous. And we're just getting started with the money making. It Our establishment is built. All we have to do is just keep doing the dailies and wait. And then soon, we're going to create an entire empire. But let me go ahead and finish these two runs real quick. Alright, last room of the second run. Golden Temple's music is... <laughs> this... I don't I don't know what the hell they did making this. I mean, I'm pretty sure Golden Temple... Well, I don't even know where Golden Temple even origin, but... This music just seems like... Just like the fucking... The, the dumbest soundtrack of the entire game. I, I don't find this good at all. Uh, I don't know, we surprised level up to 151, that's nice. Oh, that, that we can do, we can max on multilateral, 10% damage, there we go, okay, some nice little boost right there, uh, but yeah, that golden temple music is just off something, uh, but you get some nice CXP from Monster Park, and then you get these little boxes, which we end up getting, what, 100% golden hammer from, what should we use this golden hammer on, uh, is there anything good, like, well, when does it expire anyway? It expires in a month. Okay, we have time. Nothing to worry about. Um, and we got 86 coins. I'll just go ahead and buy like five of these. And uh, Okay, never mind. Here. G GMS's way of buying this is just so weird. It makes no sense. Um, okay, we'll just do five of that. And then we make sure we'll just hot key them on a button. Um, how about we just put that on nine? Change quick slots. Just remember that it's going to be on number nine. Uh, let's not forget about that. Okay. And then we can go ahead and put potions here, here, and here. So six, seven, and eight on my potions. My buffs that I'll be using for when I boss. Um, so yeah, that's about that. So after we do Nian's Avenge and Monster Park, that's when we start doing the bosses. You know, Zakum and Horntail and Hilla. And Easy Magnus, and th those are going to be the main four right now. Those are going to be the four that will matter right now. So, um, we don't need to do Hilla prequests. Easy Magnus prequests are super duper short. So, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm not even going to care about a rune because, you know, it takes just so long to queue in the boss fight. <sighs> it's whatever, who cares? Now, I don't know if these both stack or not, so I guess I could test and see. And I probably should have used these before I entered, because now this 5 second cooldown thing is going to piss me off. Or was it 5 seconds? I wasn't making sure. Okay, good, they both stack. Alright, alright, alright. Nice, nice, nice. Now I gotta wait another 15 seconds. <laughs> God damn it, I probably should have waited. Uh, so 6... Oh wait, it's 10 seconds, not 5... Oh my god, that's horrible. Alright, now we can finally begin. I can't wait to see my buff range. And then 9. And then buff up. Oh, ooh, ooh. We hit 100k? <laughs> nice, nice. Level 151, we hit 100k range. Alright, so how will I do this? Should I just do it like this? Oh, ooh, okay, they're already dead. They die awfully fast. I got stunned. Hold on. Damn. Damn. Okay. Yo, the 3x shop gave us all these items. Uh, but, I'm, but I am more than likely looking forward to this right here. This condensed power crystal. We want that. Uh, so now that we've done that, let's go ahead and go over to Horntail. Let's see if we can find a Horntail queue. I think there was some shell goes to find a horn sail queue though, so that's the problem. Um, so I'm really, really, really hoping that you know we can find a good queue. Plus, I want to see how much a condensed power crystal goes for in the auction house after we go through everything, of course. And maybe you know a silver bosom ring. Of course, we're going to be using our first one, but the one after that, we can go ahead and you know sell that. Uh, so um, let me see here. Here's what we can do. 
if he just can't get a boss Q. Um, Stone Colossus, move. We're gonna lose a little bit of money here, but that's okay. Um, dangerous Taxi Zone. Danger Zone Taxi, I mean. It's to the Dragon Nest Forest, rest in peace, 200k. Go in here. Okay, okay, see, see, I'm, I'm not gonna waste that much time, right? I know my ways to get the bosses. Maybe except for Zagum, because, you know, Zagum's annoying, and I can't really think of a fast way to get there with the Maple Guide. And so, wait, we have the Drake stamp. You can just go to Drake's. Make sure you, get, you know you get that Drake stamp, right? Uh, but you gotta go to Drake's. You then go to Sleepy Wood. Then you then go to the Pantheon Portal. Then El Nath talk to your instructor, Zagum. You know, I'll, I'll do that route later on. But um, that's just something. Make sure you know you kill those Drakes in Sleepy Wood, no matter what level you are. As long as you're above 66 or so to get that Drake stamp. So anyway, Easy Mode Horn Sale. What's the uh, deal with Easy Mode Horn Sale? Uh, probably should have buffed up. Not Auction House, God damn it. Battle Statistics, dude. All right. So, no, okay. Hypogram, fight. Was that 800k? Yo, we're attacking so fast on the two. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, look how much damage you're doing. That was 103 mil. Okay, so how much damage is that on Snipe? 887k? We're almost hitting millies on Horntail? Yo, we're almost hitting millions, dude. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Really looking forward to that. We'll definitely be hitting millions once we finish our CRA set, which is definitely going to be an easy finish. Let's go ahead and just combat him again. There we go. I saw that 880 mil. Okay, okay, okay. Now I just gotta, yeah, get in there real fast. Break the purple jewel to summon Horntail. Jeez, we attack so fast. GMS speed cap. I don't know if I'm already yet. No, I, I doubt I'd be at speed cap already. The inner ability required is already attack speed for Xenon. So that's gonna take a while to do, but it's something we can definitely work towards. Alright. Easy point to the boss fight. Let's go. Man, no more Hornet will be given so much more EXP. No, 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 no. There we go. Let's put U parts on. Alright, let's transition to the other side now. Oh, are we, okay, about to say, are you even hitting the arm? Um, okay, wait one second. What did we just kill? We just killed that arm right there. Now we just have the heads that are left. Are the heads using cancel weapon slash magic attack? I don't know if they are. Alright, so that was just, you know, an easy way to get us back up there. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, Hornetail, give me something good. Give me something good. Snipe. Here we go, here we go. Boom. Alright, anything good? Anything good? Did I even get anything good? What? No ring? I probably should have done normal. We did a billion damage. Now, we were practically strong enough to go to normal mode. Whatever. We'll go to normal tomorrow. Who cares? It's, it's funny. Alright, next boss is Hilla. So you talk to the dimensional, the dimensional door. And then you go to Aswan. It's uh, going to be like a little brown house-ish thing with, you know, a theme looking kind of like this. Uh, normal horn tail requires to be 120, but you most likely won't be able to kill her at 120. Um, so you will need some, you know, further preparations before you can combat horn tail. I mean, Hilla. Uh, did I, have I said horn tail this entire time? Um, anyway, normal Hilla has like 300-ish million health. We can go ahead and test it out here real soon. Do we kill these with this wave of mobs right here? There we go. And now we completely buff up. No! Okay. At least it gives me that warning, unlike KMS. Um, so what's our range? 106k. I dig it. I dig it. Okay. Ah. Here we go. Oh, so we did use analysis. Sorry. 
You know what, dude? I'm not even gonna be dodging attacks. Poachers don't even have cooldowns in Hilla. There's nothing to worry about. So we'll just see how far we are. Yeah, so we did about 100 million damage to her. And she's about a third of the way dead. Not too bad. I'll kill your potion. Just want to remove Hilla's curse. Hilla's curse ain't really that bad anyway. Um, let me go ahead and rebuff on the other ones. Damage reflect. Make sure you are cautious. You are cautious of Hilla's damage reflect because if you completely miss it, you are going to die and you're going to lose all your buffs, coupons included. Do you know how bad that would have been if I died and I lost my coupons? <laughs> Hell no. Let me go ahead and use zoo parts real quick. Get back until you know destroying Hilla. Alright, this dude needs to die. Oh, we can one-shot him. Alright, that's cool. Yo, the gates with this Fafnir weapon are absolutely ridiculous. Hill doesn't even take that long to kill. Okay, okay. There was that 5 million health heal, but that doesn't really mean much. Um, I believe her total health is like 330 million. Um, she's about to die right here. Yep, and we even leveled up to 152. Hill gives a lot of EXP. Uh, but we don't really want all those Eclipse or anything. I was more so interested in the Power Crystal and the reward points that we get. Because all these bosses that we're killing, we're getting 50 reward points for each boss. Now, I'm not necessarily so sure about Easy Horns Hill or Easy Magnus, but that's, you know, kind of what we're aiming for. So, now, we actually have to go and do Easy Magnus. So, Light Bulb to Pantheon. I don't think this actually teleports you to Pantheon, uh, but I know a nice little way to get there. Maybe I have to do the quest on, my, on the... Yeah, I gotta finish that. So, Alishan to go to Henesis. Hello, anyone there? And then, you know, they're gonna teleport you, and then boom, you're at Alishan. I'm glad I haven't really accepted that quest yet. Um, so, once you are here, you can go ahead and go over here. Maybe this is better than the Drake's method I mentioned earlier. Um, so, Alishan, this portal, it basically brings you to Henesis. See? It basically brings you to Hennesis. So now, let me go ahead and talk that real quick. We have to go to the little boat right here. And then after we do that, we go ahead and go down. And then now we are at the Six Path Crossway. So here in this Six Path Crossway, we just go up here to the top. Interdimensional portal. And then you go to Pantheon. And then this is where we begin the Easy Magnus prequest. And also, e Easy Magnus... His health isn't really that far from Hilla, but he moves around quite a bit, so it's going to take a lot longer to kill than Hilla. Um, maybe even twice as long. So hopefully we don't end up dying and losing the buffs that we currently have, because that would be bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and accept all these quests. And then after you accept that quest, you go over here. And then you talk to the dude right here. And then once you talk to the dude right there, you go ahead and accept, and then he takes you to... A map to where you have to kill a whole bunch of mobs. This is a, uh, this isn't hard at all. So you know, even at 150, yeah, 150 will definitely one shot. These guys are only around level 95 to 100 dish or so. Anyone who's around the, the level range of 90 to 110 can easily do easy Magnus or hell normal Magnus prequest at that. Um, even though normal Magnus is you know level 155 itself, so we're not even a high enough level to go to normal Magnus. But that's not the point here. We're just doing easy. So we go in here, um, talk to him, level 115, Magnus Simulator. Make sure it says Easy Magnus at the beginning as well. And then after we do that, we go into the portal here, and then we have completely finished the Easy Magnus request. It took like two minutes. Um, so now we go ahead and combat Easy Magnus. No! I see. I got way too used to the hyper being on 8 already. God, God damn it. Um. Alright, so move to... Wait, no, no. Enter the Tyrant Stone and Battle Magnus. Go snipe. I have to find out how to hit him. I don't think I can hit him. Like that. Uh, so, yeah. So, he's already pulling cheap moves. Maybe with the bomb skill? Okay, yeah, I can. That's, that's nice to know. And then he's already pushing me back and shit, too. Alright. Alright, I see how it is, Magnus. I'm treating him as if he were normal Magnus or hard Magnus because I'm just really, really used to fighting those two. Uh, I haven't fought e Easy Magnus seriously here in a while, so it's uh, quite the first start. He's almost halfway dead as well, and it hasn't really been that long, so that's nice. Yeah, he's halfway dead now. Okay, so that's when he starts spawning again, the blue balls, if I'm not mistaken. 
and then he starts spawning in purple when he's um, has a quarter of a life left. So, oh wow, they only did 10% damage. Okay, they they are not threatening in easy mode at all. Now, as for blue balls go, I don't know. I'm really, really, really hoping that you know they aren't too bad. Um, I don't think I'm in here. Yeah, okay, so I just have to use blue parts. Okay, I'm not even gonna go switch the bombs. Go ahead and do that. He's probably gonna like switch over. Um, not switch. Yeah, just dash like that. Change sides and whatnot. Is he quarter of the way dead yet? Oh no. Okay, so when you are outside of his little aura, your potions are half as effective instead of 10% in normal and hard. It just makes easy just seem like a joke. Um, but I mean, that's the point. Easy Magnus, right? It's supposed to be easy. It's not supposed to be difficult. Oh, okay. So we don't have to suffer from that. And then in normal and hard, those things one-shot you. I don't know how much damage they do here, but they definitely don't one-shot you, that's for sure. Okay, purple balls. We gotta be really, really cautious now. This is like the final phase, the hell phase right now. So... Just don't die so you don't lose your buffs. That's literally like the most important thing. If we die, I'm gonna be so mad. Um, okay, but you know, it doesn't really look like we'd be on the verge of dying, so... You can definitely dodge these balls really, really nice. Okay. So, of course, he's doing that again. Okay, so out of there. Probably gonna push me back as well. Maybe, okay, maybe not. Do that real fast. Not dead yet. Not dead yet. Keep on going. Bombs. Maybe we can kill him with the bombs. Boom, we did. Alright, so what did we get? We got enhancement scrolls. Are these even worth anything? Two of them as well. Also, we gotta loot these soul shards. These Magnus shards? The, the main important soul shards that you wanna be looting while doing these dailies are Magnus, Queen, and Vellum. We haven't done Rudibus prequests yet. We'll get to those soon. Uh, I don't know if I wanna waste 15 minutes of my coupon, but you know, these are just being thrown at us, so I don't really mind. Uh, I gotta find something to just throw away. I'm so sorry, Cafe Latte. I should have done this journey before. This is my own fault. God damn it. Uh, how much are these worth? Okay, auction house checkup time. Condensed power crystal. Hmm. About eight to nine mil. Okay. Okay. That's not too bad. They're not even that hard to get either. Um. So, like I said, you can use your first one if you want, and then you can tell yourself, well, I don't even have to bother using the first one. I could just wait until, you know, I start charging up on that sweet water. Um, but, you know, I still haven't thought about, you know, what I exactly plan to do yet, so it's going to be whatever. And then what was next? The equip enhancements. Did, I didn't even spell it right. Alright, so that's advanced. We don't want advanced. Okay, so regular equip enhancement is... That's nice to know. So they're worthless. Alright, they're, they're just there to be there. This, this isn't good at all. This is garbage. This is fucking trash. Who cares? Wait a minute, I know exactly what we can do. I know exactly what we can do. Uh, we don't have to do Rudibus Request yet with these running. We still have to do our daily Golix run. Because, you know, it reset, and I'm pretty sure people keep for Gollum, because I'm no- Nobody in the right mind wants to be able to just walk all the way through a labyrinth to be able to get to this boss. Those who don't have a Hyper Rock, at least. Those who do, you know, you're lucky, you're lucky. Too bad mine expired, so I don't have mine anymore. So, I have to resort on boss queues, so... Maybe if, like, you know, are there any buddies on- I got no buddies on mine, man. Dang. Can't be saying looking for a Gollum queue. That sucks. Okay. But what can we do before then? Do people not really queue for this boss? Sheesh, I'd expect it more, but... Okay. I guess in the meantime, we can go ahead and turn these in. This is for... That was for Easy Magnus. It's for Normal Hilla. Uh, seems like Corntail doesn't have one. And we actually already turned in Zocklums today. Because I forgot to turn it in yesterday. And then reached level 150. Ah, we got 80 reward points for that. So we got 205 reward points. And then we already did, you know, monster collection. Um, so, you know, there's all of that. So, dang, nobody's really queuing for this. It's quite a shame. 
I thought I'd be able to get a Galax Hue. Maybe it's just not at this time of day. Uh, maybe it's like later on or something, but I'm, I'm a little upset. Aha, there we go. There we go. We found it. We found it. Wow. As soon as I left Savage Terminal. Terminal. There we go. It's about goddamn time. Okay. Um, so we already know what the you know usual regimen is. Um, we take the face of fear. The rewarding way. This is for Noma mode. And we're definitely just far too weak for Noma mode. So we're not going to be doing any of that. Uh, so we got our three heart tree keys. Remember, kill all three body parts. Leave. All three body parts again. Leave. All three body parts. Head. Clear. 11 coins. You're done. That's how it is. And we have 39 coins, if I'm not mistaken. So we can get up to 50 today. But the reason why I wanted to go here is because the mob's EXP, like as you know, I showed in episode 6, is absolutely good. Um... We'll go ahead and um, go up here real fast if I can. Jeez, I don't know. Okay, finally the foot drop. And then I, they give me like what? Like about 300k a kill. It's really, really nice. I'm just going to go ahead and um, wait. No, I'm not going to buff up on all of that real quick. I'll wait until I make it to uh, like the shoulder. And then we'll see how fast I can kill the shoulder with my recent gains. So up here, oh god, up here, up here, boom, cleared, not bad. So I got like 6% so far, and then this map alone is going to be giving me, um, going to be giving me almost 8%. So now this is the part where we buff up and we demolish the shoulder like there's no tomorrow. It's about to be, <laughs> it's about to be real easy. Uh, Should have healed before going in but it's whatever 400 k's wait what were we hitting for what were we hitting before were we even hitting 100 k's before what is this jesus we've become so much more destructive oh god watch out ah that was close jeez dude and then you know we get all these gallic pennies with the 3x drop coupon on 3x more gallic pennies it's nice to have now we just go ahead and demolish the other shoulder the exact same way. Hitting fucking 400Ks? Are you serious right now? I'll take those out. And <laughs> the EXP increase is so good. GMS bosses give so much, really, you know, give they give really, really nice EXP. You don't even have to worry about leveling in other areas too much. Uh, as long as you do your dailies every day. I wonder what level I'll be when I actually start making some really, really nice money. Especially when I start going to Normal Horn Tail, which I will do after I finish my Chaos Rudibus set. So that's going to be my main priority. Um, a Thief Hat, a Thief Top, and a Thief Bottom. They are like 40 to 50 mil each, so I need like 150 mil. Uh, so hopefully that shouldn't be too hard to get. Um, hopefully we get lucky, maybe sell off boss shops that we get. Like the Condensed Power Crystal, I'll go ahead and sell that, just because I really want to get that crystal. And not not the crystal, but, you know, just, I really want to get CRA. Now we see how we perform on the abdomen. Oh god, see, we're already getting fucked up. Okay, 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 chill, 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 chill. Oh, he's already halfway dead. Oh, that was close. We almost got hit by the... He's dead? <laughs> yo, yo. Mm -mm -mm. It's just stuff like that. Okay, now we get to leave, and then we get to do the last two runs. All right, we're already, we're already almost 153, but that's, you know, that's not the point. Let's see how fast we kill off the head. Oh, that was close. No hypergram yet. Alright, we can start spawning in the hypergram. There we go. Hopefully we don't die. That 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 wouldn't be too good. Alright, right here seems like a safe spot. And then we just hit him like that. There we go. Woo! Woo! Sheesh, the solid gains. I've been killing off the bodies really, really fast. So this should be my 10th and 11th coin right here. Now, hopefully... I'm pretty sure Drop isn't affected by it, but hopefully we do get, you know, something good. As good as something we got, you know, yesterday with the whole belt... Independent. I'm not really sure if crack sells for much, but I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be too bad to have, right? Maybe. I don't know. We'll go ahead and see. All right, all right. So click on here, and we get. Uh, we got a belt. All right. So we got a crack belt. 
We do need to make slots for it, though. We gotta see how much our crack belt is worth. And we need to drop something irrelevant like that. Um, let me go ahead and accept that. Or, you know, get that. And then now we are out of here. So that's Gullux. So, before we go into Rutabis, we need to go ahead and see how much the... Um, how much this crack belt is actually worth. We'll, we'll also put the condensed item crystal in there as well. So, you'll move to the auction house. And in the auction house, we will put in... Um, is it cracked engraved? Yeah. So, cracked engraved Gallux belt. About 10 mil. Okay, so... We'll do this. 888 kind of something like that and then we'll put this in here for 9888888 so it's like uh it's really really close to what the lowest price is just so it could be the first to show up I I'm, I'm i'm that petty person uh i don't think people will like me for that but it, it is what it is so condensed see how much a condensed is worth right now yeah, so mine's first on the list. Okay, um, and then let's see what else we got. Mm, you could just go ahead and sell these boss crystals, which Gallus doesn't give. Um, or we could just do Rudibus and then sell them off once we finish Rudibus. So anyway, Rudibus should be the last of the bosses I have to do. Okay, so yeah, it's going to be Rudibus and then Comerson. So now, onward, we begin to Rudibus request, which you obtain from here. We go down here. Uh, it's to be level 125, so around there. So yeah, Rutabis and Urgent Summits. So luckily in GMS, you're able to skip a whole bunch of the, you know, cutscenes. So it saves you so much time. It's absolutely insane. Also, as far as bosses go, there's a botter right there. Um, as far as bosses go, you they have 330 million health. As in Queen, Pierre, Von Bonn. Vellum has 550 million. So Vellum is going to be a bit annoying. He has more health than Easy Magnus and arguably moves around a lot more than Easy Magnus does. So it's definitely going to take a little longer. But, you know, finishing off these Rudibus bosses for the reward points and, you know, for the, uh, um, you know, whatever items else we can get, whatever else items we can get is, is not too bad at all. Go ahead, accept that. And I, ah, what I do? All right, so there we go. Turn that in. Do I go to the portal again or what? Yeah, okay, yeah, I do. Skip cutscenes, please. Thank you very much. Accept. Oh, use inventory is full. Um, what can we just go ahead and drop? Jeez, uh, dude. I I really do need to use, you know what, the 10 power elixirs. Who cares about the 10 power elixirs? Okay, so Old Town Return Scroll. Skip cutscenes. Talk to her again. And then... Yep, skip please. Um, I definitely love the part where I can skip the Vellum cutscene. The Vellum one's really long, so I just instantly skip it like that. And we're already just about done with the Rutabus request. We can go ahead and start fighting the actual bosses. Of course, you have to do it by the quest, just so we can, you know, get, you know, the, um... We can get the metal. Oh, one of my listings is sold, so I made some money right there. So we can get the metal and then the five free keys of Rudibus every day. So it is Royal Tree Guardian. Accept. Go back to Leaf Free. And then head over to Rudibus. Just like that. There we go. So defeat the first seal guardian, which is going to be Von Bon. Von Bon's pretty easy. Of course, we do have to spend 100k for a key, so there's that. Um, so Von Bon is going to be in this portal right here. So we go ahead and use that. And then we begin. Oh, it's on snipe. Let me change it to laser real fast. At least we could one-shot him. That's not too bad. Is that an epic boot? Hmm. Hmm, that might be useful. I'm not sure. Um, anyway, let's go ahead, enter, and then we can go ahead and buff up. So, Maple Warrior, use that. 
And then this is the part where we summon Von Vaughn and we begin. We don't have our uh, potions anymore. They had expired. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and use them again. Just so you know, I attack faster and I have more damage. There's nothing wrong with that. So for Von Bon, what you have to do is... Um, these purple clocks here, they increase the timer on, you know, the top. For normal Von Bon, the maximum is 8 minutes. And for Chaos, the maximum is 10. But we are far from talking about Chaos. Also, when he jumps, you need to jump as well. Because you'll suffer a stun and you'll lose 90% of your health. And which you're not careful with how much health you have, you can die from it. So, that's not good. Let's go ahead and get him in this clock again. Also, when he smacks you, you know, he stuns you. If you get hit by that, you take quite a bit of damage. And Chaos, he want to KOs you with it. But like I said, again, it's not Chaos. Um, so, you just mainly want to get him in these purple clocks. And not the white ones. And when he summons that little shadow right there, you will eventually be teleported to that exact spot, regardless of whether it's good for you or not. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it isn't. You can't really tell very much. Let me go ahead and use Ooh parts again. Alright, there's the jump. He's almost dead. Oh. oh, that was close. I completely just avoided that skill. Wait, is he jumping or no? He's not. Okay, so this last part is when he does the tornado. The tornado is definitely the most annoying because he's always disappearing and reappearing a lot. But there's nothing to worry about because we killed him and we got a master craftsman key from it. So that's why we do these bosses, yo. And then the Kadit's power crystal is worth around 1 mil in the free market. So we go ahead, turn that in. And then after that, we go ahead and fight Pierre. So we use this key. Oh, wait. We have to... Spin our coins on a key real fast. There we go. So we don't have to spend 100k anymore. But nice, that's our third Master Craftsman Cube, is it not? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm not really sure what to do with the three of these right now. Like I said, whether I keep hoarding them, sell service, make 120 mil, or whatever. Um, let me buff up real fast. So Pierre has some funky mechanics. Um, basically, in normal mode, well, in his normal mode, the purple mode, um, you just want to stay as far from him as possible. And if you're a melee class, then GG, right? Um, so once you make him go to a certain health threshold, he starts changing colors. And you don't hit him unless you're, the hat that he assigns you is the one of the opposite color. And the colors he changes to is either red or blue. And I'll talk more about that once we actually get there all right so blue and he is red so i have an opposite color so i can hit him and when you hit him with an opposite hat you do double the damage but if you hit him with the right hat you heal him you don't want to heal him so it's a very very rng boss you just need to you know make sure you get the proper rng to be able to just smack him around so hopefully we get lucky with the hats again because in this next rotation we'll more than likely be able to kill him so watch out in red mode because he will disappear and if he reappears right next to you and smacks you there's a very high chance that he'll end up killing you um that's the main threat of red mode now okay he, he's in blue mode i have a blue hat so hitting him will make me heal him so let me go ahead and take off my toggles because they can heal him so in blue he's gonna be constantly following you around in this fire spiral if you touch him you become skill lock which could be easily removed by an awk here uh, so we're just going to try our best to not touch him. Stay as far away from him as possible. Now we put our toggles back on. And then we'll see if we can finish him up. Not sure if we can, but hopefully we can. We'll go ahead and see. Nah, it doesn't really look like it. Also, dodge these hats as well. Otherwise, you have to be pressing your left and right keys repeatedly. Um, or else you'll end up dying. Alright, so we got the opposite hat again. So RNG isn't necessarily in our favor at the moment. But that's not necessarily too bad. Oh, and there we go. We just got skill locked. Um, didn't have all keys hot. Well, I did. I lied. I had my all keys hot keyed. Um, but if I hit him, you know, my missiles would have launched at him and then they would have healed him. So good thing I keep the missiles off. And now we don't have woo parts. God damn it. 
So our damage is a lot lower than it was before. Now let's see if we can kill him off. There we go. We did it. So he spawns a box which you can only break by using your attack button. And that's that. Now next up, like I said, the Pierre Soul Shard doesn't really matter too much. If Queen or Vellum drop a Soul Shard, then that's when it gets real serious. Alright, so the third seal guardian is normal queen. So you go in here. We go ahead and switch over to laser. Okay, so after we kill the mobs, we go in, switch back to snipe, buff up real fast, and then upon summoning queen, she'll be in her normal mode. So her normal mode will scratch you, so you want to stay um, far away from it as possible, except for when she does that. When she does her breath, move really, really, really far away from her in the front, or move like right behind her. Um, but yeah, when she does that scratch and it hits you, you will be blinded and you won't be able to see your surroundings. So when she does that, that will automatically kill you. So basically what the breath does is, it's, um, it does 50,000 damage fixed. It doesn't do any higher or any lower. Although, if, let's say you were in a party of two and Queen does her breath move, it will do 25,000 damage to two people. So it's going to be an additive total of 50,000. So in sad mode, she'll use damage reflect. So that's damage reflect. If you hit her, you're dead. Um, you know, there's also zombify in chaos mode, but you know, that's this isn't chaos mode once again This is normal mode. So when she's out of damage reflect you are free to hit her and she doesn't really do anything else other than damage reflect and then hit you if she hits you in sad mode you get like this sort of debuff Which I'm pretty sure does expire eventually. So it's not really all that bad So Queen in normal mode is definitely really easy when <laughs> Probably shouldn't have used Zool parts right there, because she just went into damage reflect. Now we're going to be losing most of its time. So yeah, sad mode, it's uh, rare that you hit her. Okay, angry mode. She spawns in like these little um, black holes on the ground. And if she hits you, you become confused. Which means if you try to move left, you move right and vice versa. So you don't want her to hit you. But that's really the main thing she does in this mode. And she's about to die anyway, so... There we go. Yeah, she's a, she's just about dead. Easy stuff. Go ahead and hit that. And then get the little power crystal. As well as all the other items. So now, we go ahead and go to Vellum. The hardest of the normal Rutabus bosses. So go ahead. Just buy another one of these. Oh, we, are, we got a key from a mob. Not like it mattered. Beat the third seal guardian. Now, the fourth seal guardian, the last one, once again, is Vellum. This big red portal, which, of course, you know, they made it the big one because Vellum is the hardest, right? Um, let's level up from here. There we go, there we go. Okay, so once I kill these guys off real fast, go to Vellum. Spawn in Vellum. And. Ah, uh, I probably should have buffed up earlier. Now, Vellum at the early stages does go in and out of the ground a bit too much. Like, way too much. It's going to be a little while before he stays up and actually starts attacking you. So, that's just something you need to be aware of. He's just going to keep going in and out and in and out. You'll probably only be able to have time to hit him like three or four times. And the damage on him seems much lower than it was on the other Rutabis bosses. Just because, you know, he has a slightly more defense. I'm not sure if that's true in normal mode, but it's definitely true in chaos. His defense in chaos mode matches that of in-game bosses, so that's something you should be really, really, really careful of. So as you can see, as it shows on this health bar, we haven't really phased him that much, um, but that's fine. Go ahead and, you know, just keep on hitting him. See if we can use... Okay, we'll use Ooh parts after this. Oh, wait, no, no. Okay, so he's starting to use that. So, with that, he'll be able to stay out of the ground longer. And I know I was trying to move around because I get cautious of Tails because I thought I was in Chaos mode once again. Um, like I said, it's been a while since I've done normal mode. You know, and having it take a while. I'm not one-shotting. Uh, so, that's a thing. So, also be careful with the rocks as well. If you get hit by rocks, they stun you. And you don't want to be stunned, because the fireballs that Vellum does can one-hit KO you. And you don't want to be one-hit KO'd. So we can just kind of just stand here and chill. Until he goes back down to the ground. 
Or a rock spawns, you know, right above us. We don't want that. That also one hit KOs you. So you want to get out of that. If you time it perfectly, you'll be able to hit him at least once. But if you time it like shit, like I did, then you won't hit him at all. So right now, he's just doing the jumping in the fireball. So hopefully he does more fireball, so we have more um, uptime on Vellum to be able to hit him. Is this fireball? I can't really hear his voice that much, so I'm not really sure. Okay, so is he going to start going down? Alright, he did. Let me just go ahead and buff up again. Uh-oh, there's the one hit KO. Did we time it? I don't even know. I don't know if they hit him or not. But it is what it is. Staying in the ground for quite a while. Alright, there he is. Oh, oh my god, no! I thought we had it. I thought we were like really, really, really close to him. See, you don't want to get hit by those fireballs. We actually did end up dying in normal root abyss. What jokes, dude. I'm embarrassed. You just put everything back on. Uh, I'm feeling a little defeated right now. Please don't make fun of me. Okay, what's next? These fireballs again? Yup. I'm not going to be using Monster Park Potion. So now we lost 30 attack and 1 attack speed. That attack speed was so good too. It felt so much more smoother with the attack speed buff. God damn it. Now I have to go through the rest of the run like shit. We're fine though. We're fine. Okay, so this is the last thing you'll start doing. And you'll kind of start glitching like that. He's still there. Don't worry about it. It seems like a GMS thing where he constantly glitches like that. It's really funny. Hmm. Okay, okay. So yeah, after he does that, that's like the last thing, you know, he does. So we've basically unlocked the entire Vellum gameplay. He will be doing what he's been doing until he's dead. So Vellum has those key thresholds that other bosses in normal root abyss don't necessarily share uh, i know there are key thresholds in von bond and pierre um but there just aren't as many as there are in vellum and we timed that right so we hit him all right let's hope this uh this is going to be a killer if not then it is what it is make sure you dodge these little green things as well because they do quite a bit of damage Nope, that's not a killer. God damn it. Okay. Also, getting hit when he gets up stuns you, which is a perfect combination for him to kill you with fireball. So be careful. Uh. Oh, we've been going on this fight for five minutes. Jeez. Vellum is uh, quite the bitch as a start. Like I said, this is definitely going to be the most annoying boss we have to face, but that's okay. All right, he's going to do it. Yeah, he's about to do it. Okay. This will be the killer right here for sure. Boom. We killed normal Vellum. There we go. Finally. All those other Rudibus bosses seem like jokes compared to this dude. But there we go. And we're getting a lot more Crusader coins as well. Let's see. I'm pretty sure the only thing we could really spend these Crusader coins are would be spell traces. So like 35 coins for about 1 mil. And if you don't have your Mastery Book shed, you can still buy mastery books with them but yeah it just seems like this is the best thing to buy them with i mean use your crusader coins on so you get like you know a nice little one mil revenue coming in every 100 of these so that's not too bad we're not going to be selling off spell traces yet though because we still need them of course um i'll sell off spell traces when i feel i don't really need them anymore so this is going to be the end of Rudibus. let's go ahead and skip off all the cutscene bs and whatnot Talk to Nineheart, and we get our medal. There we go. Um, and then that's going to be it for bossing. So after you finish all the bosses, you do two things. First thing is you turn them all in here with the reward points that we see. It'd be um, Zakum, Hilla, Easy Magnus, Galux, and then the four Rudibus bosses. If you do normal Hortel, then you know you could turn that in as well. So that'd be eight or nine bosses. Um, and then after that, you take all of their condensed power crystal, which, which I hope we had slots for. Okay, we had slots for all ten. Uh, but you take all the condensed power crystals, find a place to go, you know, to the free market, and then you sell them all at the free market. 
I want to see how much money we end up making in the free market with all these crystals. So markets, collector, etc. Ooh, ooh. Uh, so we're at 46 mil right now. And we're at 54 mil. So 8 mil. 8 mil a day from these power crystals alone. So wait, 8 times 7 is 56. Okay, so that's going to be enough to be able to sell 60 per week. So that's just what you need to keep in mind. You can only sell 60 of these power crystals per week. So there's going to be that. Um, so let me go ahead and settle. And then we go ahead. We have completely finished our bossing mileage and now we're at one bossing mileage bossing reward points and now we're at 1000 reward points so the last daily we now have to do are the commercy voyages and we all remember how to get there right if leafy doesn't have the party play okay so it does just go down here commercy republic you can, you can use it in either leafy or hennessy's with quick move go in here and then do your runs so with Maestra Fiametta, you just go in, make sure you have all your buffs on and everything. Um, start the trade, enter trade. Can't trade in a party, of course. Um, but you start trade, enter, and then after that, you just do Luna. Make sure your one run of Luna, you put in stylish glasses, organic leather. Hell, we'll just throw black pepper in there as well, and then commercy soap. So, you know, you just used up all of these limited ones. And then for your next four runs of Luna and your next four runs of Dos, you just use Commercy Soap. So, we depart. And that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to finish this real quick. And I'm going to do a quick episode review of basically everything I've done. And everything that you need to do every single day. Alright, and I finished all my runs. Let me go ahead and just claim everything. And I have no energy, right? Yep. I'm out of I'm all out of energy and I got 33 dinaro. Uh, I'm at 77 now. Uh, so we are slowly making our way to the sweet water, making our way to a huge payment on like the dojo one, which is like 80 mil a week right now. Um, we'll eventually make more as I we'll make more from dojo as I make more meals. So that's oh wait, didn't I say that was gonna be important? Okay, we'll keep that for now. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely start making more money here real soon. I just have to keep doing what I'm doing every day. Also, boss accessories, get those, go to auction now, sell them. I'm probably going to try normal horn tail tomorrow. Um, so, that'll be like a little fun attempt. So, you know, try to be able to fight them, hopefully beat them. Uh, but, you know, we'll see what happens. And uh, now, as far as hyper stats go, we'll just go ahead and put four in that. And then, once you level up again, we can get boss damage to five. Um, but that's going to be it. So, as far as the review for the dailies go... Event dailies come first, uh, so that includes Nian's Revenged or Wandering Investigation. That's pretty much optional if you already have the um, already have the Android. If you don't, then it is mandatory because you do want to get this Android. It gives a really, really, really nice boost. Um, afterwards, after that, you start doing your bosses, which consist of Zakum, Easy or Normal Horntail, Hilla, Galux, Easy Magnus. And then all four Rudibus bosses. And then after that, you go ahead and do your daily voyages. Five Luna, four Dos for the 33 Dinar per day. And then Galux gives 11 coins per day. So that's just basically what I need to put out. Um, so with the boss crystals that you get, you were able to sell them in the FM for decent money. Up to maybe around like 8 mil a day or so. Um... So that's, you know, pretty nice. 8 mil a day from these boss crystals. That definitely will continue to add up. So always just want to be doing your dailies, getting them done. Making sure you turn the daily quest in for reward points. And then make sure you check monster collection every 3 hours, as I continue to say. Because it is really good reward points and really good items as well. Because I have, you know, all these Master Craftsman cubes and I have no idea what to do with them. Hopefully, I will figure out what to do with them here soon. And... Hopefully very soon. Although, there is one last thing I want to do before I end off the episode. So, my charm is level 40. Meaning, I can accept the pocket item quest. You have to be, you have to have your charm at at least level 30 to be able to do this, by the way. So, you gotta talk to Big Head Ward, which is excessively charming. Then he's going to ask, oh my god. Then he's going to ask you to be able to get a, 
um, what is it? A rose clipping. So you can easily find rose clippings in the auction house. How much are they worth in the auction house? I I don't know. So we're going to be able to see for ourselves. And let's look at what's sold. So we got the power crystal. All right. So now rose clipping. As we load, because GMS auction house lags a bit too much. <laughs> really now? Okay. Okay. So that's good to know. Uh, so we finished that quest now. So. Now we can go ahead and look for a pocket item that we want. So, accessory, pocket item, and then just see what's selling right now. Pink Holy Cup for 900k plus 1.5k range. Really? Uh, oh, jeez. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get a Pink Holy Cup for 900k. So, <laughs> so, you know, it's a nice, quick little thing to get. Plus 1.5k range, it's not too bad. Um, so now I just need to go over to... Here, talk to Big Headwar, turn this in, and now we have our pocket item slot unlocked, and we can equip this Pink Holy Cup. Now this, this can fuck off, uh, but that's really all I wanted to be able to do at the end of this episode. Just finally unlock this pocket item slot that we've been able to unlock since episode 5. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and finally end it off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you haven't. That is, if you want to. And I hope you guys learn a thing or two, you know, doing the dailies. Because this is the mo This is a really, really big important factor of how you're going to be making money here on GMS. And eventually make enough funds to be able to train, get to 200, and then we can start the fun fifth job stuff, right? Uh, but yeah, that's going to be it. Catch you guys later.